I think that we saw, I mean, that was my feeling on the night of the debate on June 27th, mm -hmm. that like, this is not acceptable. And one of the things to think about, we haven't really touched on this yet, and I know we're just getting this news, we're digesting it, but countries are most vulnerable, in this country most vulnerable, when there is a transition mm -hmm. from one power to the next, okay? When there's a change in administrations. Mm -hmm. And all of your adversaries and all of your enemies look for weaknesses in those points. So I think that when he, uh, when Biden, in the last two weeks after the debate, when they pushed him to go out and do all of those interviews, and he kept falling. Basically, Joe Biden kept stepping on a rake every single time he went out and did an interview. It yes. just got worse. So that's why I think that, yes, of course he wanted to hold on. Yes, he did. And then it became, all of a sudden, it became obvious. It was like, you are not going to be the nominee. And so they, put, they make that call. They pull the plug. And I think Peter's right. I don't think Joe Biden is well enough today or in the right frame of mind to be on camera in order to endorse Kamala Harris and to make this decision. Uh, the other thing is, I think that there is a big question on whether the president can actually do this job for the next six months. He says he will put all of his energy and all of his attention into doing yeah. that. We'll, we'll have to see if that can um, survive. The other thing, uh, there's two communication things that I think are wrong, one on the Republican side of things and one on the Democratic side of things. The Republicans are saying, and I understand why, that you know, 14 million voters on the Democratic side are now disenfranchised because they voted for Biden in the primary. But if 78% of voters on the Democratic side after the debate wanted a new nominee, are they really that disenfranchised? I think that in some ways you have to be for what's going to happen. Joe Biden is withdrawn from the race, so you have that. On the other side of things, you now have a lot of Democrats telling me, telling Twitter, et cetera, that, oh, now all the focus will be on Trump and how he's too old to run for office. Mm -hmm. But people just watched him get shot, get back up, organize, lead an amazing convention and get up and do some rallies. I don't think, I think both lines of communication and argument from those two perspectives are not correct. Because I think you can make the case that the country and Democrats for that matter, they grew past the age concern and it became a, yeah. um, I also want to get this into play um, because to the point about where they're focusing their campaigns, remember before the